got to split the profits. L- lucky guys. Wow. Did you ever see the Bling Lander like at, like backstage? Oh yeah, of course. It was, was right up near it. I mean, it, it, it shined. I mean, it was icy. It was cold. It just, you walk in the room and you're like, ooh, there's some ice. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, okay, episode one of WSX, uh, that Battle Royal. Uh, wow. Uh, well, did you like? Did you like see like? Did you like at, at before the match started? Like before the taping started? Did you see all those people like, wow, there's New Jack. Oh, wow, there's uh, Sean Waltman and Chris Hemrick. Uh, were you? Was you like? Did, were you shocked to see all those people? Or? Well, I mean, I, I I've worked with them, you know every one of them in the, before that and in the oh, past. Wow. Uh, I, I I've worked with New Jack, who who has bloodied me up in the past and has jumped off a balcony on me. <laughs> Uh, I, I've worked with Hamrick in a feud with, uh, you know, when I managed Chaos and XPW, mm-hmm. Chaos and Hamrick had a big feud, mm-hmm. including a legendary, you know, pretty good, pretty good ladder match at the uh, ECW Arena out in Philly. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, X Pac, me Chaos, X Pac had a little backstage altercation in XPW one night when X Pac came to the uh, arena very, very late and you know, very intoxicated and <laughs> caused a little. Chaos and commotion in the back. So yeah, I've, I've worked with all of them, and, you know. Oh, and okay. I've had a good time working with them. Have had heat with them. They've had heat with me. We mm-hmm. cleared it all up. It's been yeah. It, 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 it was it was fun and exciting. This you know to say the, you know, to, nonetheless. Yeah. yeah, love love the love every episode of WXX. And um, got a question. Uh, okay. Uh, it really didn't make much. I mean, I, I really liked it, but I didn't understand why was there like uh, explosions like in the first battle royal like. There was some sort of like bomb type thing where youth suicide went through. What was like, wh- why? You know, do you know? Do you and, know? And, and that's just like, yeah, I mean, part of what MTV wanted when they signed the show was outrageous right. pyro. Right. I mean, that, the, the, the pyro was really something that MTV did request, and they wanted, mm-hmm. you know, to be involved. You know, they wanted us to incorporate mm-hmm. pyro as much as possible. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, it was something done for that. I mean, the, the premise on that was. There was an electrified fence, uh, and I don't know why the electrified fence would explode, but it was a huge, big <laughs> yeah. explosion. Uh, wow, I know. there's so many things I'd like to ask, and but we, you know, we're only gonna sit, talk with you 20 minutes because I'm sure you got you have a life, unlike me, and you have you have I, things I, I, to do. You, you know, you can ask as much as you want. Talk okay, um, no problem. All right, um, okay. The name Fabian Kalen, um is that supposed to be like a name like K Fab or what is that supposed to mean? I mean, very much so. It'll, it'll, it'll probably be talked about in this transformation of Fabian Kalen gimmick on the, uh, you know, on the DVD, on the WSX DVDs. But yeah, m- most definitely. I mean, I figure most people really won't pick up on it, and I would say that most people didn't pick up on it. But it's definitely where the name derived. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and like I said, he, even the derivative of that name was going to play into storylines for future WSX seasons, where once again there, there was going to be a a mystery to the character and 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 some secrets and it, it was going to be something that was going to make sense and was going to come to make sense and it was we had some interesting things planned oh really ah too bad man and you know i'm i love that show have taped every episode have it all every single one except that last episode of course cannot wait for the yeah. dvd do you know if, where the dvd's gonna be sold like can i go to walmart or do you know uh, what day do you know what day it's gonna be released or November, I don't have it in front of me offhand, but I want to say it's like somewhere in the area of like November 11th, November 16th, somewhere awesome. in that range. Awesome. Uh, maybe it's the 19th. It's, it's in that kind of range. Uh, it'll be available in most stores. I, I don't know if Walmart carries certain things. Just uh, I would think they actually will, but generally speaking, Best Buy's, Circuit City's, Fry's, yeah. uh, Sam Goody's, uh, you know, any, any of those, it's pretty much any chain w- would have it. Walmart may. I'm not positive, though. All right. Uh, how many days did you? Really? How many days did WSX like? How many tapings of WSX? Like, how many days? Like, is like four or five days, or is it a few weeks? Yeah, we shot we shot the nine episodes over a course of five days. Wow. Uh, so so pretty much two shows a day, uh, which was which was crazy intense. I mean, for for a lot of the wrestlers, it was cool. They only had to work once a day. Maybe even if they worked twice a day, you know, it it, it wasn't. That they're going out there and working 25 minute, you know, crazy long, intense matches like that. I mean, they give it their all, but they went five minutes, seven minutes, giving it their all. Obviously, hot client putting all energy in. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, they had that. I, I was, whew, mm-hmm. it was a tough taping schedule for me. I mean, there was a lot of things going on because of, you know, doing the regular show and then 
all of the uh, WS Extra announcing, you know, for each of the matches and running around and multiple episodes. I mean, it was a strain. It was tight. I was there warming up the crowd. It was, it was tough. <laughs> I'm sure, like after like an hour, you had to get like a glass of water because you were yelling. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I actually like on on my little throne area where where I stayed. Uh, I had just tons of hot tea and honey, and my throat was getting roasted. <laughs> Actually, before uh, before episode eight, uh, I got taken to the to the doctor. I went to the doctor that does like all the American Idol kids. Uh, he had to do some stuff for my throat, give me some cortisone shots because I ended up getting an ulcer on my vocal cords from <laughs> all the yelling and stuff. Wow! So, I mean, that, that, that was cool. I mean. It was crazy to go walk into a Beverly Hills doctor's office with my Fabian Kalen makeup on. You know, I have the soccer <laughs> orange eye. I'm in the stripes, and I walk into this fancy, uh, you know, fancy doctor's office, and it's just funny. You know, there's this family who's just like, what's wrong with this guy? But you know, it was cool. I got treated well, and TV took care of me. Big Vision took care of me, and it was all good. Wow. That is awesome. Uh, okay, we got another question. Uh, what about the WSX audience? I mean, were they... There for WSX, did you advertise, or what was up with them? It was a combination of wrestling fans. I mean, it, it, it was advertised for any, anyone who was a wrestling fan was able to go get tickets and go enjoy the show. Uh, a lot of it also was a Hollywood audience. I mean, we did it on a sound stage. Mm -hmm. um, we brought in a, a paid audience, too. I mean, everyone says, like, oh, you know, it's actors. I mean, it's not really actors. It's just paying people to go. You know, they're not really acting. They're going to just enjoy the show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they make a little money. I mean, I've done it myself. I've gone to see uh, uh, the late show with Craig Ferguson and been paid. I've seen the Dennis Miller show and been paid. Wow. Uh, you know, it's just something, if you got some extra time on your hands, why not go, you know, enjoy yourself for the day and make a little cash? So, yeah. I mean, you, you, I think we got a lot of fans. I mean, people were a little, wrestling people were a little disappointed that it wasn't a typical wrestling crowd, but I think... I think it was okay. I mean, it definitely needed more people. Yeah. I think that the attendance was a little light, mm -hmm. uh, and, they, and, they, and they should have tried to pack it in a little bit more. I mean, I'm not saying go for some crazy high numbers, mm -hmm. but, but I mean, I think it, it probably could have been just more intense if we doubled the size of the crowd, threw in another 150 diehard wrestling fans would have been awesome. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, a lot of them don't come. A lot of people want to, you know, complain about the product that's out there right now. They're not a fan of... Of, of things on TV, but then they don't want to support something that's new and something that's different because they think it's bas you know, it's bastardizing mm -hmm. the, the product that they love and the sport that they love. And I mean, in my mind, it's you know, pretty ridiculous to have that kind of mindset because I mean, it, as Vince says, it is entertainment, uh, and you can respect the traditions of wrestling, but you still need to put on an entertaining product. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and people, I think, were just afraid of something that was different. Yeah, I think I think I think you're 100 percent right, man. And you know, you gotta try new things and something. Yeah, you know, see something else and try something else and never uh, be the same. And a uh, few more questions. Uh, recent, we have recent WSX news. Besides the DVD release, we want to know: Is Ricky uh, Banderas really the WSX champion still, or is he no longer? He was stripped of the title, right? He was stripped of that title. Uh, and, and if I'm not mistaken, he's undergoing some plastic surgery of some sort to try to correct his face. Uh, wow. I don't know. He's pretty. He's a pretty mysterious guy. Yeah. Uh, and is it because because uh, of the? I read the press release. I want to know if confirm this press release is. Is it true that uh, Ricky is no longer champion because he was a person of interest in the Vince McMahon car bombing? I think, I think that it ended up being uh, that he had nothing to do with something that never really happened. <laughs> but at the same time. Uh, we, we, we didn't need the bad press at the time and with him being linked as a suspect it, before the situation changed uh, it was something we didn't need for our public relation or the company uh, I see um, and also I, I heard uh, according to legends here that uh, that Ricky got a, received a severance package which included a ham is this true? You know, I'm not. I'm not sure if a ham was sent in. Really? Because that, that's all the press uh, really. Came over in a Cornish game hen. Yeah, that, maybe that was it. No, yeah, that was it. I wasn't 100 percent sure on that. Um, so, so there's only five days for the WXX um, tapings. Was there any like? You, everybody always talks about backstage heat. I bet there was none. Back, no backstage heat, right? With five days, you know. <laughs> the, the backstage 
backstage atmosphere at WSX was, was absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it was, it was a group of guys who came in to go put on an interesting, cool new product, mm. you know, and everyone wanted a chance to kind of shine, and everyone wanted to try to see what they can do with their limited time to turn themselves into what everyone hoped would make them, you know, some household names and stars through the MTV media.